Hello interwebs and thanks for tuning in to Trade Chat. My name is Panzer and today I'm going to be going over some of my favorite articles from WOW Insider for the week of May 26, 2012. I hope you enjoy this video and if you do, remember to rate it thumbs up. As always, thanks to WOW Insider for inviting me to recap their stories. Today on the recap, we're going to talk all about Mr. Pandaria stuff, so let's get started. First off, I'm so excited to tell you about Battleground Blacklisting. This feature recently made it into beta and allows you to choose up to two Battlegrounds to no longer be in the queue when you choose random Battlegrounds. You can change your blacklisted Battlegrounds at any time, and it should be noted that you can't blacklist a Battleground on its Call to Arms weekend. I am so excited for this feature because personally, I hate Isle of Conquest, and if I never did it again, it would be too soon. Moving on, let's talk about the Core Abilities tab. This feature will be particularly useful for people like me who play on a lot of alts and don't really have a dedicated main. In situations like this, when changes are made, it's really hard to keep up with it for like five or six characters. And what the Core Abilities tab does is it breaks down and explains all of your characters' most frequently used abilities for their spec. This is going to prove particularly useful for new players, players with a lot of alts, or players wanting to try out a new class. Speaking of min-maxing, we all know how annoying it is to grind out rep for helm and shoulder enchants that barely increase our effectiveness. Well, developers have also noticed and addressed this issue in Mr. Pandaria. In the upcoming expansion, helm enchants will be completely removed and the existing ones will be deactivated. Shoulder enchants will be made exclusively by scribes and you'll no longer have to worry about those ridiculous rep grinds. I'm so pro this change because to be honest, I never like mustered up the motivation to grind rep in deep home, so the only character I have that has a shoulder enchant is my scrubby shaman who happens to be a scribe. The last thing I wanted to talk about today is a fun glyph for monks in Mist of Pandaria. The glyph of Zen Flight will allow you to fly at 60% movement speed on a little cloud. It's even been rumored that with the appropriate flying training, monks can fly in Pandaria using this glyph. No word on whether that's going to make it to live realms, but in the meantime, I'll have fun zipping around on my little panda fart cloud. And to wrap up this week, I want to talk about the breakfast topic posted on Tuesday. They asked, what's your favorite BG and why? For me, Warsong Gulch will always be my favorite battleground. But what about you? Leave your answer in the comment section below and check back next week to see if your comment was featured. In the meantime, when you think about your answer, check out last week's responses. watching the WoW Insider Weekly Recap. If you enjoyed the show, make sure you comment and thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Check back every Friday for new recaps and have a great week, guys.